Welcome or welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Bullet Train. I saw this film when it came out in the cinema and I absolutely loved it. I feel like it's just such a feel good movie and I want to feel good. <laughs> so that's why I want to watch it today and you have the pleasure of watching it with me. So strap in for this adventure of a film. Let's get on with it. I mean, this guy must be going through it, and his dad is not making him feel any better. <laughs> oh, it's so good. And I'm loving this Japanese rendition of this song. It's great. I want to go to Tokyo so bad. The colours in this film as well. It's so visually appealing. Do you put peace out in the world? Do you get peace back? I think you and your therapist might be forgetting what you do for a living. That is so true though. We could all learn something from that. I had no idea when I watched this for the first time who was voicing his cool handler. I didn't even catch on until the end when they revealed it. I love films that are based in one place. I just think it makes for a really interesting film. Another film that I love that's based just mainly on one set is Train to Busan, which is coincidentally on a train. So maybe there's a theme here, maybe I like train films. <laughs> I love the contrast as well of him being an assassin, but also going to therapy, practicing mindfulness. Fucking blind or something? These two oh, come on, Nick and... oh, made this to... film what it was. No, you're all right. Okay, yeah, like an arsehole. Thank you. I love the accents as well. How'd I do that? Wow, this train is so much nicer than anything I have ever seen in England. Like, the economy on this train is significantly better than first class in England. Come on now. Sorry, sorry. Oh, they're adaptable. Like me. I want Aaron Taylor Johnson to be in the next James Bond so badly. Wait. What? Trying to stick around the hand. Yeah? Holy shit, Box. I wish I had looked like that. <laughs> Last time you ate a lemon meringue pie. Lemon drizzle cake? I'm sorry, are you talking about lemons? I want a prequel with these two. Technically, we're outside contractors. What does his I'm eyebrow tattoo men. say? Technically. Trust no bitch. Right. <laughs> I learned from Thomas. Oh, you had to bring your sticker book, did I you? I always bring my stickers with me, you know that. Take tangerine in here. <laughs> Would Americans get this reference? Because I thought Thomas the Tank Engine was like a British thing. So I guess this film has introduced a whole new audience to Thomas the Tank Engine. Some people are diesels. Fuck! Ugh. Diesel. No one wants to be a diesel. No order. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a tattoo that says trust no bitch over his eyebrows, so I don't think he is all there. Fucking strangle you. Do you mind if we do this right now? Oh, don't worry about him, <laughs> Oh, I love it. I just love that Ed's sing as well. Looks like the front for a Jaffa cake. How about a wagon wheel? Oh, that works. <laughs> I love Jaffa cakes. See, if he had just kept the case with him, this film wouldn't have happened. Do you honestly not know who the white death is? Yeah. The Japanese underworld used to be ruled by a man named Minigishi. He made his own alliance. Wow, this is insane. Oh, that mask is really intimidating. If you actually read the briefings, you'd know that he had a wife. This is like when you're paired up with someone at school and you have to do all the work and then the other guy just comes along and takes all the credit. <laughs> I love how everything in this film is linked as well. He asked for pros who wouldn't fuck up. God, if they're pros, it's a bit worrying. They don't seem particularly efficient. The fuck does that have to do with me? You work for the most- Joey King really suits pink. This looks really good on her. I want this outfit that she's wearing. We are right on schedule. Wow, this must have taken a lot of planning from her. They've got to have been sponsored by Corona there. <laughs> Little subtle product placement. 
they're basically giving us his life story in like a two minute montage and that is just it's so well done i feel like you don't get even a minute to relax with this film there's always something crazy and new happening oh don't eat it don't eat it that's like the worst way to go death by cake He hasn't even changed his suit from the wedding, I don't think. He must have come straight from the wedding to get vengeance. <laughs> I would love to have the luck that this guy has. Wow, he's using the suitcase as a lethal weapon. Oh, okay. You know what I said about the luck? Maybe I don't want the luck that this guy has. Let this be a lesson in the toxicity of anger. They've got some great mindful lessons sprinkled throughout this film that we could all just take away with us. No, excuse me. You are fucking excuse. <laughs> You're supposed to let people off the train before you get on. She's just being a Karen. Wow, well, she plays she plays the villain really well. She's got crazy eyes. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> well. What are the chances oh, yeah, yeah. that Didn't I she finds the briefcase after oh, checking in two drawers? There is a massive theme of luck in this film. Man, I just want to get off this train and go see a Zen garden and some shit, you know? He just wants to find inner peace, don't we all? You went and killed someone, didn't you? Miscommunication trope. It's one of my least favourite tropes in books. What the fuck? See, everything links. There is so many random celebrity cameos in this film. Couldn't you just push, push the golf club out from that side? And then the door would open, right? Oh no, we all know what's going to happen there. I don't think that's the last we're going to see of the snake. Whoa, her eyes are really blue. They always want to handle it themselves and it never works out. <laughs> Tell me he would not make a good James Bond. But clearly not, it's some fucking 80s dance off, isn't it? <laughs> it really does look like that. They look like some sort of weird tribute act. That He's a fucking happy normal. chappy, isn't he? If they were meant to be sent to intimidate him, they did not do a very good job. He's wearing a studded leather jacket. Glasses, he is not our guy. Okay. I love that he just trusts him on that. Is this the last time they see each other alive? I actually think it might be. A pleasure to the senses. If I had one in the chamber, I'd rock this bad boy right now. Boundaries. It's true. We need I went to South Korea and they have the best toilets ever. It had like a wind setting, you could change the heat. Obviously, bidet water setting. It it automatically flushed when you stood up. It was actually like stepping into the future. We need to catch up. Southeast Asia know how to do toilets well. <laughs> Wait, he actually managed to get into the case by guessing the code. Isn't there like millions of combinations? Oh, look at that. If the gun doesn't kill him, the case will. God, she's very brave messing around with explosives. She doesn't have a care in the world. There's so many crotch punches in this film. <laughs> She really just minds her oh. own business. I love that for her. Honey, <laughs> this really makes me laugh because isn't that train going at like hundreds of miles an hour? There is no way they'd be able to hold on unless they had like insane upper body strength, right? Oh, I hate anything going near the island. Oh. So no one gets greedy. <laughs> Why did you do that? 
again, the chances of him managing to get the right combination when he did that is just pure luck. So it's just this constant theme of luck in this film. A terrible father and your son Gosh, she is, is going to crazy. pay for all the mistakes. The point is, that door is closed. <laughs> <laughs> He actually shot him. Yeah, he did. Crap, I forgot. See, he, he's the real victim in all this, this guy. There's nothing to grab onto. How did he manage to get up there? <laughs> God, he has seen better days. God, he's got a great walk. He does. Fuck, that thing is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it all just links together so well. Oh. You stole my snake, bitch. Oh, so she put really the snake cold. on the plane. So Not on the plane, on the train. That's a different film. 30 seconds before the venom does its thing. <laughs> Staring competition right before they die. Her own uh, weapon was used against her. Can I get you? I was gonna say, why wouldn't you check his pulse? But I guess if you find him stashed away in a locked cupboard, covered in blood, you would just assume the worst, wouldn't you? Deep breaths. Use those techniques you've learned in therapy. You can waltz up here that and blow my really brains cool out in front shot. of us. You can see the, the reflections in the glass. That's so cool. Yeah, and then this man. That was fucking ages ago. I know. The colours are so good. She's the real villain in this film, not the White Death. Diesel. The absolute <laughs> fucking worst. The stickers really came in handy. Oh. Oh, I'm really sad. But he didn't make it. It's so atmospheric. I feel like this should have won Oscars for cinematography because this is just going to be me fangirling over this film for the whole video. No! It's our last chance! No, 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 please come back! I would just leave her. There is no way I'd get back on that train. Dad. Listen, old man. The only thing you know about an old man, young lady, is that he has survived much more. Mm -hmm. You tell her. Ladybug? Yeah. This is very lucky indeed. I have risen to a highly coveted position within the Minegishi crime oh. family. When I first watched this, I, I was blown away. Oh, that's why he walks with a cane, because... Because he got stabbed through the leg, and that's why he has the scar down his eye. I would trust this guy. I would trust this guy with my life if he just told me that story. Thank you. He seems like a trustworthy guy. He seems like the opposite of a diesel. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Lemon and Tangerine's story is a bit like Romeo and Juliet. If you think about it. Where the fuck is my brother? It really is, it's like Romeo and Juliet. These two, they were cast perfectly, I think. I wonder how they decided to have Thomas the Tank Engine be an ongoing theme throughout this film. Like, what, the, what were the writers thinking? I mean, it works, but a bit odd. There doesn't seem to be any staff left on this train either, which is a bit weird. He shot my fucking brother! You shot my son! Yeah, but the difference is that your son lived. His brother didn't live. See, these masks are a bit more intimidating than, no than the metal-studded leather jackets. This film has also really just made me want to go on a bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto. I think it has to be on my bucket list. I've got to do it at some point before I die. What a reveal. I'm annoyed at myself for not figuring it out sooner. Hey, uh, 
Like, that came as a real shock to me in the cinema when I watched it for the first time. The script is just so clever. I really am just the biggest fan of this film. And to make you finally see me. This is serious younger child syndrome here. <laughs> Don't mean to offend anyone. Are you a She's just an unloved child seeking the approval of her dad. That's all this is. That is some good waterproof eyeliner she's got on there. She's got a heavy black eyeliner on. She's got tears flowing and there is no smudges. I wouldn't know what that eyeliner is. See, she's just been cast aside again. He thinks that little of her that he's just... She's not important to him. Time for you to shut up. Oh shit, everything's in Japanese. <laughs> There's no episode in Japanese. What the f <laughs> Of course it's in Japanese. You're in Japan. What do you expect? <laughs> what is that hair? Did you see that? That is one hell of a haircut. She would still be by my side. Yeah, it helps to process this. I, I have a good therapist. I love him. <laughs> he needs some serious therapy, this guy. The man who murdered my wife. <laughs> what is Ryan Reynolds doing here? It's so good. <laughs> All of his henchmen have the weirdest haircuts. Oh, that is expensive. They must cost a fortune, those trades. How have they managed to stay on the tracks after that? The sign was in English all along. It said emergency break in English. <laughs> this water bottle deserves a credit at the end of the film. That delivered my father's corpse at my feet. The narcissism on this chick. <laughs> Untreatable. No. It's not all about you. Wait, wait. See, when I saw this, I realized that Maria? Sandra was the cool Take handler. The gun. It was so the good. I like seeing Brad Pitt in a comedy role. I don't think I've ever seen a film with him before where he plays this kind of comedic character. And I, I think it really suits him. He does it well. I'm telling you, I just want to celebrate, yeah, yeah. Love it. I just love it. I know that there's a post credit scene. Oh! Oh! I'm alone! Fucking stop! <laughs> it's a sign. He had to do it. Take a fucking back! He was really, really good. I want to see him in more stuff as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. I think that this whole video was probably me just raving about this film because I love it so much. I just think it's so clever and it always puts a smile on my face whenever I watch it. I want to see a prequel with Lemon and Tangerine because I don't think I'm alone in saying that they were my favourite characters in the whole film and I want to see more of them. Thanks for watching guys and see you next week.